click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends now this is a problem based on lpp a product mix problem so let's read the problem and start problem number 2 Akil Corporation produces two products. Profit for product A is 60 rupees and for product B is 50 rupees. So they are given as the profit per unit. Each product must pass through two machines P and Q. A requires 10 minutes on machine P and 8 minutes on machine Q. B requires 15 minutes on machine P and 10 minutes on machine Q. Machine P is available 5 hours a day. Well, machine Q is available 3 hours a day. The company must produce at least 2 units of product A and 5 units of product B each day. So they are given us the complete information about two products A and B. We will take the products in column as usual. And we will take two machines here. Machine P and Machine Q. We will take them in rows. Let's first tabulate the whole data as given in the problem. To be continued. So we have two machines P and Q. We have two products and we have the capacity. And we will note down the profit here. Profit per unit. For A the profit is... 60 rupees for B the profit is 50 rupees for machine P product A takes 10 minutes for product B it takes 15 minutes for machine Q it is 8 minutes and on product B it is 10 minutes capacity we have 5 hours for P and 3 hours for Q now since the time is given in hours whereas the time present is given in minutes I need to convert that time given in hours into minutes so I'll just multiply this by 60 to get 300 minutes Multiplied by 60, it will be 180 minutes. Next, we are given one more thing that there is a minimum production limit. There must be at least 2 units of A and at least 5 units of B. So what I have done is I have simply tabulated the whole data. This was the original question. This is my profit for A 60 rupees. For B it is 50 rupees. Then there are two machines. A requires 10 on machine P. 8 on machine Q. So 10 on machine P. 8 on machine Q. But B requires 15 on machine P, 10 on machine Q, 15 on machine P, 10 on machine Q. P is available for 5 hours, that is 300 minutes. Q available for 3 hours, that is 180 minutes. There is my supply against the both the machines. And last line it was, company must produce at least 2 units of A and 5 units of B. So at least 2 units of A and 5 units of B. So I just tabulated the whole data. Now our whole calculation or the whole problem will be based on assumption. We will assume that we are making x1 units of A and x2 units of B. So let us write the assumption first. Let us assume x1 units of A and x2 units of B are produced or manufactured. So you made the initial assumption. Now uh, my objective function will be how much is my profit per unit? My profit per unit is 60 rupees multiplied by x1 
so i will maximize the profit first of all so maximize profit comma z equals to 60 into x1 and my profit per unit for product b is 50 rupees multiplied by x2 and i'll add this two so i'll get the overall objective function but then this objective function is subject to certain constraints what are my constraints the time limit i have a limited time limit of 300 hours for 300 minutes for machine i have a limited time of of 300 minutes for machine p and 180 minutes for machine q so i need to work it out see the time per unit is 10 multiplied by number of units time per unit multiplied by number of units will be 10 x1 plus 15 x2 this is my total time consumed on machine p this cannot be more than 300 minutes that is the total supply available so I'll note down less than equal to 300 my second constant will be machine q wala constant i just note down here machine p machine q constant for machine q it will be 8 x1 plus 10 x2 less than equal to 180 minutes and last but not the least i also have the production constant that i must produce at least two units of a and at least five units of b so it will be x1 more than equal to 2 and x2 more than equal to 5 these are my production constraints and last but not the least to make the problem realistic we always have the non negativity constraints which will be x1 more than equals to 0 x2 more than equals to 0 so we have converted the whole table into a linear programming problem or a mathematical problem and for solving this problem we have got different methods thanks thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel ikida